Jimmy Rupnarain is a stay-at-home dad. He takes care of his three children while his wife works as a pharmacist. He says he moved to Canada with his wife nine years ago, where their three children were born, but eventually returned to Trinidad in 2015. But while in Canada, his wife stayed at home with the kids and he worked. But when they came back to Trinidad, they decided that this time she will return to work and he will stay at home. Yes, being a parent, stay-at-home parent, is an amazing job in terms of fulfillment and all that. There are lots of people who do not have that choice or opportunity to do it, so they just are not there. Not that their children won't be taken care of, but it's invaluable if that could actually happen. So even though she may have had that opportunity, I know when when someone's invested so much time and energy into an actual career and get to a certain point, that becomes a little part of your identity. And it's not necessarily a huge loss, but it is something that could just feel like something's missing now. I'm no longer that. So when we came back here, I actually hoped that she would be able to get back on that path just a little bit and at least be out there doing the same thing and feeling like, oh, I am that person a little bit again. I used to work some long hours sometimes, but I tried my best to still make sure and help out in terms of housework, taking care of them, all of that too. So when we came here, I decided, yes, I will look for a job too, but I really wanted her to get back into that mode of, okay, this is my work persona again. And that did happen. We're both pharmacists. So she has uh, worked in a small but fairly busy pharmacy in downtown Port of Spain for just about a year now. And she's com comfortable with it. If I was the one who had, who had to work, get the full-time job, she would have stayed home. It doesn't really matter. It's not like one of us said, no, I'm not going to do this, or I am going to do this. She got the opportunity for a really good job with good hours and all that, so she took it there for I'm like, okay, I'll stay home with the kids. How does it feel being a stay-at-home dad? Because this is the first time you're doing it. How was it that transition? Not too much of a shock or anything like that, and, but that's primarily because uh, in Canada, whenever you, well, whenever you have a kid, a uh, baby, there's a parental leave that's available for both mothers and fathers. Given the economic downturn as a family, how do you manage with just one parent working? We did think about because there is the opportunity for me to get a full-time job. Um, I'm not totally unemployed. I do some work just to kind of keep current with uh, medicine and all that but yeah uh, we did consider it because of the economy it's not ideal but I've also it, it, it's something I've measured we've measured because there are pros and cons to that do you have a rent or mortgage to pay I actually don't have any rent or mortgage and that's probably why um, because you all live with in-laws, right? Yes. Yeah, so yeah. the bills are easier to manage. Oh, definitely. And usually when mom comes home, because she has been mommy and the one who is the primary caregiver for probably about, yeah, since most of them were born, they tend to flock to her because they haven't seen her all day. They're not necessarily avoiding me, mm -hmm. But they're like, yay, mommy's home. You don't find a lot of dads who are stay-at-home dads. What advice would you give to men out there who mm. might think, okay, I'm, they would like to, but they're thinking of the stigma attached to it. What, what advice would you give to them? You can do anything, and that includes taking care of your kids. You can develop a beautiful relationship with your kids, even if you've never taken care of a child before. 
Anthony, I know you don't have kids, but would you be a stay-at-home dad when you do? I would, in a heartbeat, actually. Yeah. yeah yes, yes. I yes. think some people underestimate how difficult it's. It's really a hard job to stay at home and run after children. Like it's, it's almost like a full-time job, basically. What about staying at home and taking care of yourself? <laughs> <laughs> that's another. That's another one. Um, with regard to the interview with SCL Group. Banks have come under some heavy criticism recently uh, over bank fees, charges, the way they treat customers during this economic downturn. That company is stating that their bank is quite understanding given their financial situation. So some good news for the banks. Yeah, I think a big part about uh, banks is that you really need to develop relationships with your bankers. Yes. And they need to develop relationships with you. Yes. It's, that's very important. Uh, especially at this time. Uh, especially at this time. And property tax, quite a heated topic these days. Still quite a heated topic. It's going, probably going to continue to be heated uh, long after the May 22nd deadline. Uh, people have lots of views on it. It's very controversial. Yes, and things are tough now, so it's additional money to take out of everyone's pockets Absolutely, at this time. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for looking at this week's episode of Money Matters. I'm Judy Kanhai. And I'm Anthony Wilson. Thank you so much for joining us. Good evening.